Pathogens, pathogens, pathogens. Those nasty disease-causing microorganisms. Luckily, our body is made to fight, and has lots of defense mechanisms against these nasty invaders. In this video, we are going to look at some of the defenses our body has to protect us against disease. Let's start with our biggest organ. Which organ do you think that is? The liver, brain, lungs, heart, skin? Pause the video and have a think. Our biggest organ is, in fact, our skin. The skin covers the whole body, protecting our insides from physical damage, microbe infection, and dehydration. The skin acts as a physical barrier, which is difficult for microbes to penetrate. But that's not all. The sebaceous glands on our skin secrete acids, which make the skin acidic and prevents the growth of pathogens. So our skin does a great job. But what about the pathogens entering through our nose, mouth, or eyes? Tears, mucus, and saliva all contain lysozyme enzyme that breaks down the cell walls of many bacteria. Our respiratory system has many lines of defense, as well as the enzymes. Firstly, nasal hair keeps out dust and larger organisms. And then for the sneakier microbes that get through, there's a sticky mucus which traps them. And little hairs called cilia to sweep out the dirty mucus. Fall over and cut yourself? Luckily, our blood has its own defense mechanisms, preventing the wound from becoming infected. The blood contains platelets and fibrin, which cause the blood to clot and form a scab. You can learn more about this in our video on blood clotting. And don't you worry about swallowing pathogens. The hydrochloric acid in our stomachs is really strong and kills most of the harmful microorganisms that might be in our food and drink. Our defense doesn't stop there either. Friendly bacteria in our intestines stops other harmful bacteria taking over. If pathogens do get past our physical barriers, which is known as a general defense system, our second line of defense takes over. And this system is pretty feisty. It includes our white blood cells. Some of the white blood cells are called neutrophils, which hunt down, kill, and ingest pathogens. Other white blood cells produce antibodies, which destroy particular pathogens. You can learn more about this on our video on white blood cells. So there you have it, our defense system. It usually does a great job of keeping us safe and healthy. And when our defense system fails, Modern medicine is there to help us out.